back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because I'm filming my very last videos of 2020. There's gonna be three of them. So today's episode that you're watching is all of my favorite skincare items for 2020. Check back next week, I'll have my favorite makeup products and also my favorite lifestyle products. So without any more delay, let's get right into it. This year, I actually have five cleansers on my list. That's quite a lot for me. The first one I'm gonna mention that I really did love was from Good Molecules. As you can see, I'm pretty much down at the very end. There's maybe only a couple of uses still left in here. This is their Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. And as it says right here, it's a gentle cleanser to balance and brighten skin. And I love it, number one, because it is a gel formulation. I have combo oily skin and gel anything, gel cleanser, gel moisturizer, gel serums, always are typically what I enjoy putting on my skin the most. Sarah V, yes, this is their foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin. Of course, they do have another one that is for normal to dry. Of course, if you have dry skin, I suggest going for that one. CeraVe in general, their whole brand, I feel is one of the best that the drugstore has to offer. I have really enjoyed over the years using several of CeraVe's products. And this one in particular also has great, good for your skin ingredients, not just cleansers um, to clean, but you're also feeding your skin with ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. Those three ingredients you will never go wrong with. From Cosrx, and it's their low pH good morning gel cleanser. This is huge in the K-beauty world. I think anyone that has been into K-beauty at all has picked up this cleanser and used it at one time or another in their skincare routine. Again, low pH, which is great for the skin, and it soothes, refreshes, and softens the skin without the stripping feeling. Now, my last two are definitely more on the pricier side, but they are awesome cleansers, and I highly recommend them. Again, I'm pretty sure I probably featured this one last year, Youth to the People and their Kale Plus Green Tea superfood face wash. It comes in a glass bottle, very bougie, with a pump. This size anyway, they have multiple sizes because this has become a cult favorite in a very short amount of time. Everyone loves this cleanser. Holy Frog, for sure, probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure, definitely for the amount anyways. This is the most expensive one in the category and it's one that if you go back again to the full review I did on this, there is one on my channel, I mentioned I don't do fancy cleansers and I consider this a fancy cleanser because it has uh, AHAs in it and you know just a bunch of these other ingredients that are supposed to do wonders for your skin in addition to cleansing. And I've always kind of believed cleansers should really be very basic, very simple, but I was proven so wrong with this one. I thought, what is a cleanser with an AHA in it gonna do? It's not gonna help even out texture, improve tone, uh, clear out your pores, uh, smooth and exfoliate like any other type of product with AHA in it would, but it does. I promise you, even though this is a cleanser that's not gonna be on your skin for very long, it works wonders. Next up, let's talk a little bit about some toners. If you've been watching me for some time, you know my love for the Bioderma Hydra Bio Tonic. It's just your standard, very simple, hydrating toner. This toner really blew me away. It blew away a lot of people. I heard a lot of people talking about it and that's kind of what encouraged me to give it a try and it is their Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Once again, another empty product that I just kept around for the purposes of doing this video. 
I have to get another one because it's that good. It's an amazing toner, very much like Bioderma, very moisturizing, but with the addition of niacinamide plus vitamin C. Hopefully by now we all know that that myth has been debunked of not pairing niacinamide and vitamin C together. This product has them both and they both work and they both do a great job of brightening your skin, uh, moisturizing your skin. Glow Recipes, their Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner blew me away this year. This is an incredible acid toner with PHAs and BHAs. Again, check out my review. Don't wanna go into too much detail about what PHAs versus BHAs are. This really does a great job as a very gentle acid toner. It's definitely on the gentle side. I have a couple of exfoliating products and one of them is from Good Molecules again. Quite a few Good Molecules products on my list this year. Just really enjoy checking out a lot more affordable alternatives and their pineapple exfoliating powder I really enjoyed using quite a bit as an alternative to my typical acid exfoliators that I really, really love using. That's my number one way to exfoliate is with a chemical, but occasionally I do like something a little uh, more physical. It is a white powder and you just pour it into your hand, just like Dermalogica's product, mix in a little bit of water, a few drops, and it forms a paste and then you use that to gently exfoliate your skin. Pharmacy's Honeymoon Glow. What else is there to say about this product? I love it. AHAs and BHAs, uh, I believe it is, yes, 14%, so it is potent. Maybe not for a beginner, maybe not for someone with very sensitive skin. This is one of the most powerful and best acid serums I've ever used, and Pharmacy just did a fantastic job with this one. Next, I have a couple of oils. One actually is more of a treatment, but it contains oil, so we'll start with that one first. And it is the Ordinary's Retinol. This is a retinol serum, 1%, but it's in Squalane. And I really loved using this this year because previously in the past, um, I'm pretty sure if I remember all the other retinol products that I've ever used have been uh, in the form of creams. And this was the first one that I used that was more in an oil type form. And personally for me, this is the one going forward I'm gonna be most gravitating towards because I truly believe that the addition of having the retinol mixed in with the oil helps to aid in calming your skin down and not having it be so affected by the potency of the retinol. This oil right here from Pi, their Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil, I have been lusting after this product for forever. Finally got my hands on it this year and I have loved using it. I have really loved using it also with my facial tools at night and really massaging it into my skin. Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. This was a big hit for me this year. I really in enjoyed uh, using these under my eye, especially days that I was gonna film videos. That was the number one way that I used these throughout the year. Loved putting them on just to depuff and kind of smooth out that area right before I was gonna do my makeup for a video and I really enjoyed using these. I definitely saw a difference. Let's talk about some sunscreen options. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know how adamant I am about always recommending and encouraging sunscreen use. So first up, one for the body, Neutrogena's Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen. This is fantastic. This handle, this whole design of this is just superb. This handle allows you to be able to turn the whole thing upside down and actually get your back. Now for the face, can't forget that. 
Super Goops Unseen. It's, it's just amazing. Number one, comes out clear, very primer-like, so you know it's a perfect, non-interfering uh, type of sunscreen that will go beautifully under makeup. No one, no matter how deep, dark of a skin tone you have, you don't ever have to worry. This is the go-to sunscreen to not ever have to worry about it leaving a white cast. And last but not least, Elta MD. This is another find in 2020 that I finally pulled the plug on. Heard about Elta MD's whole sunscreen range for quite some time. It is a pricey sunscreen and it's, you know, kind of small, not, not too big of, of a bottle here, 1.7 ounces, but it is broad spectrum UV SPF 46. And this is what kind of sold me to, to really go for it. Calms and protects acne prone skin. Skin types prone to acne, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation. I've never seen any other sunscreen have that printed on the bottle. This is the sunscreen that you need if you do suffer from a lot of breakouts, especially those horrid breakouts that leave you with those dark marks and a lot of hyperpigmentation issues. Often imitated, but never, never duplicated. Shiseido's facial cotton. This will always be a staple, kind of like my pharmacy honeymoon glow. <laughs> I think forevermore, anytime I do this type of video, I'll be mentioning these. Another makeup remover product is my Lancome's by Facil. This is a specific dedicated eye makeup remover. Now, all balms, oils, wipes even, if you prefer to use those, which I do not recommend, can remove all makeup, eyes, face, all of it. But I've always enjoyed having a dedicated eye makeup remover. I don't know what it is. Probably because this one is so incredible. To me, for years, it's been my number one eye makeup remover. Nothing else really compares. Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. This one did a fantastic job throughout the year taking all my makeup off, including eye makeup as well. This is actually formulated with Nourishing Sea Buckthorn Oil, Camellia Oil, and Shea Butter. So you can tell right off the bat it's going to leave a very soft, moisturizing, comfortable feeling to your skin. I have a couple of lip products. One, again, is another tried and true that I've talked about for forever, Jack Black's Lip Balm. This is the Shea Butter uh, scent, I guess you could say. My number one go-to daytime lip balm, always. SPF 25 is what does it for me. And I also tried out the Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream this year. This is one of those pot lip balms. So this has really become a nighttime staple for me throughout the year. Love just slathering on a nice thick layer, going to bed with it on, waking up in the morning with pillowy, soft, supple lips. Now we're gonna end off this video with some body care. I have a hand cream here, a very bougie one, I might add, from Aesop. This is their Resurrection Aromatique Hand Balm, and it has mandarin rind, rosemary leaf, cedar atlas. It is a really great uh, hand cream because of all the additional benefits other than just moisturizing that it gives you. My Jo Malone body cream and this is the peony and blush suede scent. They have many scents for you to choose from but I originally fell in love with the cologne and I thought I have to get my hands on the body cream because the cologne smells so amazing. It's my favorite. It smells like you love yourself. It smells like you won the lottery. It smells like you just met the love of your life. Many more affordable ones on the market, but 
It's just so good. It is so good. I have a body wash recommendation and it is from Necessaire. Yes, the brand that has just taken body care, the body care world by storm. And this is their sandalwood scented body wash. I do also have it in the eucalyptus scent, but this is the one that I'm working on right now. And it is beautiful. These body washes are really, really beautiful. So simple as the packaging <laughs> would suggest. Simple packaging, but beautiful, effective. And I have two tools here that I've used throughout the year. And I definitely have to kind of up my usage of these tools because even though I did use them quite a bit in 2020, I could have done more, you know? You know you can always do more, but I enjoy the time that I did spend using my Gua Sha tool from Mount Lai. And it is this very beautiful jade tool that is used on the face to pretty much just massage your skin, to uh, drain uh, all the fluids out, just give your skin a nice massage, deep puff. This has really helped to give my face a better contour. I definitely need to step up and use this more frequently, but the times that I did use it, I really, really enjoyed the feeling of being able to really get into uh, the, the muscle. And last but not least, a newer addition to my skincare tool collection. I decided to go out and give this a try. This is the Sephora brand, but you can find these all over Amazon. Uh, definitely ones that look very similar like this. This is a face and body massage set, and it has three tools. And of course, each size is going to correspond to the body part that you're using it on. Uh, the very small one here, you would use maybe around your eye area. The middle one, you would use on the bigger parts of your face. And this one, you would use on your body. This really does a great job of working on your fine lines and wrinkles just really smoothing. It does such a great job of smoothing out, getting all the blood flowing, and they, they work. They definitely do work. So that's it, guys. That's all of my 2020 skincare favorites. Check the description box. I'll have everything listed. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found some gems in here that you would like to try out for yourself. Also down below, tell me what some of your favorites are that I didn't mention that you use throughout the year and totally fell in love with and do wonders for your skin. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more. You gotta subscribe because next up, I'll be showing you all of my makeup favorites and also my lifestyle favorites. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.